I'm in for the fifth grade promotion ceremony. Check it out. sounds familiar it's because I was just down the street for many 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 years at Blackwood Prairie and retired three years ago they convinced me to come back for the end of the year and it wasn't a hard decision to make because I knew this community uh, just from hearing so many wonderful things about it at Blackwood Prairie I want to thank you for being here fifth grade students I know you didn't have a choice but we want to thank you <laughs> Put a lot of work in to get to this stage so be proud of yourselves I know that this class has a very bright future in front of them and parents I want to encourage you as they go to middle school stay connected with them I know it's a hard stage I've been through it twice with my own and both times I thought I was going to lose my mind but it all works out. And those things that are so high drama and are so uh, unhinging as they go into middle school and proceed through that, in 10 years you'll be laughing about them with them because they survived it and they learned a lesson and a, it's an opportunity in life to learn those lessons. Moms, get your mom squad together. 
because your child will come home and say, I'm the only one that doesn't get to do X, Y, Z. And if you have your mom squad, you have a backup that is also telling their child, you're not doing it either. So there is safety in numbers and it's important that you stay connected with those parents so that you know what's going on. Your child may not be the bladder mouth in the group. Someone else's might be, and then you get the whole story. So make sure you're listening and connecting with those other parents. And students, as you enter middle school, you're going to have a lot of opportunities to do things that you wouldn't be proud to tell your parents. It's just part of middle school, it's part of growing up. Stay true to yourself. Pretend your mom and dad are sitting right there on your shoulder. And if you're about to do something and you're not sure, what would my mom and dad say if they saw me do this? If the answer is just a little bit of a twinge, don't do it. Don't do it. You don't have to. You are in charge of you. Nobody has power over you. So be in charge of you, do the right thing always, even when no one's looking, even when there's no one there to tell on you if you do the wrong thing. Look out for each other. You've been through elementary school together. These are your core people. You know them, you have memories, you have a history. Stick up for each other. Don't be afraid to be the person in the crowd that says that's not okay. You shouldn't be doing that. Be a leader. And above all, above everything else, be kind. Good morning. Please stand for the pledges, moment of silence, and Star Spangled Banner. celebrate the students that were up here that just did a beautiful job as our Color Guard members. Let's clap for them. We're so very proud of their hard work and their leadership this year. I would like to take a second to recognize all of our students. Not only have they done a fantastic job academically, but they've also served in campus organizations. So if you are a student that's here, that's part of our Forest Creek Color Guard, but you didn't have opportunity to be up here today, I would love for you to stand to be recognized as well. Okay, you guys, stand on up if you're part of the Color Guard. Awesome. Thank you for serving for Color Guard. Next up, I would like to recognize our Forest Creek No Place for Hate organization. If you're a part of that, stand. Yeah. So 
so proud of y'all. Thank y'all for making Forest Creek. All right, broadcast individuals, those who do our Coyote News broadcast in the morning to keep us all informed. But not least, what if you are a student who served in our UIL opportunities? I'm so blessed to be one of the assistant principals here at Forest Creek. My name is Luxoria Spears, and I'm excited to share with you all our welcome and our message for today. So welcome to the 2024 fifth grade prom promotion ceremony. Let's get excited again. This is an exciting moment. All right. I'm looking at parent faces. They're like, Miss Spears, it's not exciting. It's bittersweet. I see some people already trying to hold back the tears as the national anthem was going. We're going to all try to keep it together today. Okay? I worked hard on my makeup, and I don't plan to for Batman. So I'm going to make sure if you're a parent who starts to boo-hoo that I'm not looking at you because, you know, crying is often like a chain reaction. So I'm going to make sure it's not me up here today because i got to smile and shake hands with your kids <laughs> for the pictures. All right. So parents, can y'all believe it? Your kiddos, the ones that were little tiny tots, are now here at this moment as fifth graders getting ready to transition into middle school. Kids, can y'all believe it? <laughs> some say no, some say yes. I can't believe it. So today is a day of celebration and a day of reflection on the beautiful experiences that you've had here at Forest Creek. A moment where we're all blessed to come together to reflect upon and honor the hard work and the growth of our wonderful students as they prepare to embark on this journey to middle school. One of the kids is already crying. I can't look at you, girl. <laughs> students, I'm incredibly proud of each and every one of you. I've had the privilege of being your assistant principal for three years now. When I first got here to Forest Creek, you were in third grade, and now you're fifth graders. I remember when you all were like, yay, hi, like right here to me. But now y'all are like looking at me eye to eye. Some of y'all are taller than me. My goodness, it's crazy how fast y'all have grown. I've appreciated the experiences that we've shared together, the opportunity to talk about your lives, to talk about your challenges, your exciting moments. We've laughed hysterically. We've played games in the cafeteria. Some of y'all won awards, making me do back handsprings, even after I had a baby, I almost hurt myself. <laughs> Just to make y'all laugh. We've enjoyed academics. And most importantly, I truly appreciate the relationships that I've had opportunity to, to develop with each and every one of you. I'm not gonna call anybody out here, but some of y'all, when y'all was in third grade, you were in my office three times, not a year but a week. I, I'm not gonna call names, my eyes are closed, I'm not looking. But y'all have grown so much, even socially and emotionally. Don't tell anybody I said this, but I often say that fifth grade, y'all one of my favorite grade levels. You wanna know why? Not only have you grown academically and socially and emotionally, but you make my life a little bit easier because I haven't seen office referrals from y'all this year. So that's impressive. Because when you look at fifth graders, for past years, it was a whole lot of office referrals. So y'all have done a beautiful job of demonstrating kindness to your staff members, to your teachers, to students, to everyone. And y'all are really a unique group. I appreciate how much you truly love on each other and work together as a team. The walkie-talkie continues, y'all, even at fifth grade promotion ceremonies. So over the past few years, I've had the joy of watching you grow learn and become the remarkable individuals that you are today. Your perseverance through a pandemic, campus challenges, and so much more, your kindness to staff members and each other, and your enthusiasm have all been awe-inspiring to me. It's been a privilege to be, to be part of your journey here at Forest Creek. 
I just want y'all to take a second to celebrate our kids for their hard work this year. If y'all could just give them a round of applause. Parents and families, congratulations to you all. You have worked hard to get your babies here today. It's been a collaborative process, but the work and the credit, it goes to you. So I want you to also take a second to just pat yourselves on the back for the hard work that you do at home. I see spouses patting each other, yes. <laughs> Pat each other on the back. <laughs> Take a moment to reflect on when this now big kid sitting before us here today was a tiny top, the kindergartner, you know, the one that you boohooed about because it was their first time officially going to what people call the big school. This might have been the kid that was holding onto your leg, not wanting to come into the school. They might have been crying, but now they're sitting here as fifth graders who are confident they're brave and they're getting ready to make this transition again to middle school. These little babies are all grown up. Stop crying, y'all, stop crying. <laughs> Parents, thank you for your unwavering support. You've nurtured, encouraged, and stood by these students, collaborating with us to help them reach this milestone today. Kids, your parents work hard. Just like they clap for you because they're proud of this moment that you've made it to, I want you to stand up and tell your parents thank you by clapping for them as well. Stand up, turn around, look at your families, and say thank you. Great, you may be seated. Thank you for doing that. Savor this achievement and savor the memories that you've created together. It's these moments that define our lives and bind us together as a community, as a Forest Creek family. Students, I have a little bit more to say to you and then I'm getting up, out the way so y'all can get up here and be recognized for your hard work. Remember the lessons that you've learned here at Forest Creek. You've developed resilience, you've learned to care for each other, you've adapted to change and you've gained some confidence. These qualities are not just something that you learned here for elementary school, but they will serve you well in middle school and beyond. Even as an adult, we still need it. We got to give ourselves pep talks. In addition to these lessons, I would like to leave you with parting words. These words I like to call Mrs. Spears' pearls of wisdom. Y'all know I like my pearls. Okay, so here are a few important reminders that I want you to carry near and dear to your heart and that I want you to exude in your every fiber with how you treat people at middle school. Number one, have self-worth and also integrity. What others think about you I'm gonna be honest, it's not your problem. While it's important to maintain a good reputation, that means, just in case you don't know what a reputation means, you want people to remember you for the good things that you do. What matters even more than having a good reputation is how you personally view yourself. Strive to be kind, to be loving, to be hardworking, and whoever else you would like to continue to be or whoever else you would like to become. That doesn't mean be like somebody else. That means know the type of person you wanna be and hold true to those character traits. What do you want people to remember you for? When you hold dear these core values, you can be proud of yourself and also how you treat others. I have two more pointers. Number two, learn from your mistakes. Even us as adults, we still make mistakes. I probably have already made a mistake this morning that I'm not aware of, and it's okay. Life is not perfect, and mistakes are part of this journey that we call life. When you make a mistake, this is what I want y'all to do. Reflect on it, take accountability, learn from it, and put solutions in place to do better next time. Don't just keep doing the same thing that you know is wrong over and over again. This is how you grow. Last pointer. Remember the power of the impact that you make. Maya Angelou said this best. People may not always remember exactly what you said or what you did, but they will always remember how you made them feel. So when people look back at their yearbooks, this is not a yearbook plug, yes it is. Y'all go get y'all's yearbooks later. And now I gotta pick up my speech from on the floor. Y'all go get this yearbook. When people look back at the yearbook, 
from Forest Creek, from middle school, from high school, and years to come. Treat people now how you would like for them to remember you when they see your picture in the future. As you create new memories in middle school, aim to be, once again, someone who is kind, respectful, confident, and hardworking. Treat others today in a way that ensures they remember you positively tomorrow and for years to come. Congratulations to who used to be my babies, but now y'all are my fifth grade coyotes. Congratulations to y'all. You've made us incredibly proud, and we know you will continue to shine as you move forward. Embrace this next adventure with excitement, and always remember that you are capable of amazing things. Congratulations once again, everybody. We're going to have the presentation of their certific certificates. I can't talk this morning. First, we will have Miss Lois on to come up and she'll introduce her class. Hello, everyone. It's good to see you. Um, I just want to start, up, start out by saying thank you so much, parents, for, for all your support the past year. And in many cases, past two years, I really appreciate all that you've done for me. Um, children, I'm going to start by uh, trying to address a misconception. So I've been telling you for the past year, and some of you for the past two years, that I really don't like any of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> now, kids, I do have to say that is farthest from the truth. You guys are the reason I get up every morning and come to work. Now, I've just said this, this is what's going to happen, everyone. They're going to come up to me today and say, Mrs. Zahn, I knew it. I, I'm your favorite. <laughs> this is what I'm going to tell y'all. I don't like any of y'all. <laughs> with that being said, I'm just going to share a couple of things with you, um, and we'll get started. First thing, kids, we've talked about this all year. Never stop learning, because whether it's learning how to crochet, whether it's learning about a new culture, or anything else, never stop learning, because learning and knowledge is something that no one can take from you. So never stop doing that. Second, love one another. Be good to each other. And third, we've talked about this all year, be kind, children be kind. Because a little bit of kindness from you goes a long way for someone who receives it. Got it? Yes? <laughs> With that being said, class of 2024, I'm so very proud of you, congratulations. Kirstie Bauman's classroom. All the wonderful words have been said already today. <laughs> Makes my job a little easier. <laughs> Parents, families, I want to thank you for coming to celebrate your child as they transition from elementary school to middle school. I know you have a lot of feelings today. Students, you have come so far. You were the kindergartners that we see in the hallway, and now look at you. You're moving on to middle school. I know it's scary, it's exciting, but believe in yourself. You have the power to do tough things. Whether it's a drop slide, we had a lot of drop slide fears shared yesterday and challenges. Um, <laughs> I'm going to avoid water parks. Uh, so whether it's a drop slide or a hard math problem, you have the power to do hard things. All right, we're here to celebrate you today. Zelda Adams. Emma 
Cochran. Michaela De La Rosa. Haley Flynn. <laughs> Maya Gitta. Wyatt Kirking. Charlie Lovett. Hi, Mangalona Pierre. Oliver Nibrugi. <laughs> Brantley Powers. Emily Taylor. Alonzo Wireless. Summer Yang. Maddox of all again.
Thank you. A great job, fifth grade. We haven't had a chance to thank, we'll, uh, we'll give them a, a round of applause in a minute. Parents, thank you for all your hard work this year. Um, the volunteers that decorated today, thank you. It looks beautiful. Uh, we appreciate all the work that you put into this. So let's uh, welcome our new, I guess our, our sixth graders now, right? <laughs> And of course, at the end of the year, we did our did our uh, dancing detective show. So I spent quite a lot of time with them in their classrooms. And at the beginning of the year, I made a statement to the fifth graders. I don't know if they remember this, but I, we talked about goals. And I said, my goal for the class every year for my grade level is to get them to the next grade level. And then I told the fifth graders, my goal to you, for you, and I mean this with all the love in my heart, is to get rid of you. <laughs> that my goal was for you to walk out of this building and not come back. Or at least not come back to study, you know, come back to say hi. But the truth is, I don't want to get rid of you. You guys, you're too special and you're too awesome. And we did not have enough time together. So I wish you great luck and good fortune. And please do come back. But for just a moment, you're still technically fifth graders. So you, get the honor and privilege of one last time singing the Forest Creek School song. <laughs> Students, would you stand and face your parents? We are the Forest Creek ceremony, I want to take a moment to reflect on the incredible journey that our students have undertaken. This year has been filled with challenges, growths, and triumphs. Each of these young individuals has shown remarkable resilience, curiosity, and as the theme for today, kindness. They have not only learned academic lessons, but also important life skills that will serve them well in years to come. To our dedicated teachers and staff, your unwavering commitment and passion have been guiding lights for our students. Your efforts have created a nurturing environment with these young minds that have flourished. Parents and guardians, your support and encouragement has been invaluable, providing the foundation for our students to soar. To our fifth graders, almost sixth graders, you stand at the threshold of a new chapter in your lives. Middle school awaits, and I was a middle school assistant principal, so I know what you've got coming. <laughs> middle school awaits with adventures, opportunities, and experiences. Most importantly, remember the friendships that you've made here, the lessons that you've learned, and the challenges that you've overcome. Carry with you the spirit of curiosity that courage to face new challenges, and that kindness that makes our community so strong. As you move forward, know that we believe in you, are incredibly proud of each and every one of you. You have everything in your toolbox to succeed, and we can't wait to see the amazing things that you will achieve. Congratulations, Coyotes, future sixth graders. Enjoy your summer, and good luck. Coyotes, one, two, three. Yeah, yeah.